district. It's my honor today to give some remarks with regards to uh, the tremendous generosity that Carl and Jane Belt have given to this university over the years. Um, they're tirelessly giving back to the Frostburg community as well as the surrounding Allegheny and Garrett counties. Um, it's clear to me as I work through, or as I work here at Frostburg over the last 17 years and been part of this community, um, that there's not many spaces or people who haven't come in contact with the work they do, the philanthropic work they do, their generosity, um, and, and so on and so forth. Um, also want to take a moment and uh, just acknowledge Jeremy and Meredith, Bryson and Brent for being here, Carl and Jane for both being here. Um, I want to thank the Belt for the ability to possibly. Um, certainly way more than we ever anticipated. Um, we're looking for a place where we can do community and engagement and support each other. Um, the operations of the families are on the side, like a place outside. Um, and and what, what the Belt food did with us is just tremendous. Um, going back to also want to just acknowledge the tremendous people who are part of the group. Um, there's not a day that I didn't walk down through here, ask questions, and, and the folks who work for you take so much pride in what they're doing. You know, whether it's the concrete fish, the finish fish, whether it was the the metal guy, the partner who was going to set it up with the electrician, they would all take time and acknowledge that I was there, answer questions, and, and, and help me understand what the next phase was, and so on and so forth. So, um, just want to make, make you aware of that and make sure that you know how how well those folks represent their company on a daily basis. Finally, um, I've been asked to talk a little bit. They want me back to the camera here. Finally, I've been asked to talk a little bit about how, how the university is going to use this. We've already started to do this um, with, you know, receptions before and after games, with parent weekend type receptions, um, getting teams out here. Um, you know, obviously this facility, we keep it open all the time to the community. So there are always walkers. There are always people who are out here, you know, whether they're working with their kids in soccer or baseball or whatever. Um, so we see this as a place that's open and usable for folks and, and, and really um, something that drives community, um, connects us with the community, connects us with our students internally and externally. Um, one of the other things that's really big for, for us with our booth at Division 2 is the Division 3 platform is more of a service-based community piece. Um, at the Division 2 level, they want the community to know the students. They want the students to have meaningful inter interactions and so on and so forth. And I think a place like this allows us to do that when we invite the community in. So with that, I can't thank you enough for all your generosity, what you've done for this university and for this terrific facility. Uh, thank you. Well, at this time, I'd ask you that Carl and Jane, please put Ron and us. Sure. Ron and I. Sorry. Would you like to say anything, Buck and Jane? Troy and Ron and John, I want to thank you for all you've done up here. While we've been here. We've been uh, the Belt Group has been working up at Frostburg State since uh, I graduated from college, which was 1968. We have some buildings here, and uh, we're proud of this uh, college and what university and what they do for our community. They're quite an employer, big employer, but they're also service a lot of uh, young people that maybe couldn't get an education. Uh, couldn't one, but they can because they they can live at home and go here. So we're very proud of the uh, Frostburg State University and what they do, and we're happy to uh, include this pavilion as a gift to the university. So thank you for having us up today and uh, for this ribbon cutting. A beautiful day, great choice of days. So thank you. So at this time, we'd like to have Carl and Jane come forward and cut the ribbon to the
One, two, three.